Scientists linked the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere with rising temperatures in the 1960s. But it would be more than 20 years before the issue was raised in the U.S. Congress. The fundamental drivers of the science was known. Frankly, it was known in the 19th century. There was a calculation done in the 19th century in terms of uh, the temperature rise with uh, doubling of CO2. Now, it was not as sophisticated as today's calculations, but it was, you know, in the, in the ballpark. They did not realize, of course, the extent to which the development of industry and the fossil fuel burning to support industry would come on so quickly. Jim Hansen, uh, sort of a pioneering climate scientist, who was always a little bit ahead, ahead of the pack, in terms of drawing connections, uh, testified at a hearing at the uh, Capitol, saying essentially that, to his reckoning, the uh, human influence on the climate system was evident. It was during those hearings that climate change entered the public consciousness. I said it had become clear that the greenhouse signal, a response of the Earth to the increasing greenhouse gases in the atmosphere was becoming apparent, and I could say that with a very high degree of confidence. And that there also, there is a relationship between global warming and the frequency and severity of extreme climate events, including droughts, but also including the other extremes, heavier rainfall and floods. Before long, the signs were visible. Winters became warmer. Birds changed their migration patterns. Coral reefs began to be bleached by warming oceans. There were observable signs as early as uh, the late 1980s when there was a very severe drought in the United States and the Middle West. Birds are shifting their patterns, bugs are coming out sooner, pollinators, flowers are blooming earlier, and there will be big impacts from that. And while many people may think, oh goody, longer summers, um, it's, it's much more basic than that. And it really changes everything. It changes the, the rising of the seas. It changes the melting of the Arctic ice. It changes the climates that we're all used to. 